I'm making now, I'm gonna make some ramen, tonkatsu ramen, made out of pork. So I'm gonna use pork ingredients, pork feet, pork neck, pork skins, and pork back fat. This is gonna make our broth. This is gonna make our creamy tonkatsu broth, okay? What we wanna do is bring our water to a boil, and what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna blanch the pork feet and pork bone and pork skin. So we get all the impurities out, all the scum and nasty stuff out. We just put it in. We're gonna just boil it for like 10 minutes, that's all, not too long. Our blanch is done now, so we're gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna clean it off with cold, cold water. Like this. Pour it into our strainer here. Clean our pork, rinse all the pork feet and the pork neck bones. So make sure all the impurities go away. That's gonna ruin the color of our broth. After we clean all that up, put water back in here, and bring it back up to a boil. We want the water a couple of inches past the meats and bones. And we're gonna boil it back up to a rolling boil. And now we're gonna pair our ingredients to put in our tonkatsu broth. A bunch of green onions. We're gonna cut these green onions into three sections. Side, one medium sized yellow onion. One whole onion, you're gonna poke some holes in it, like that with a knife. That's the side. Four cloves of garlic, take out the skin. The side, four cloves of garlic right there. Slice some ginger, we use about half of this. If you want to de-skin ginger, you just use a spoon. You guys see? It peels the ginger. Like that. Go to the side. I'm gonna test out some fennel. So I got a fennel here. It's kinda like celery. We'll cut out the stock here. Throw all this in. Cut this in half. There we go. That's going into our broth too. Experiment, test out new stuff, see how it goes. Got some dill. I'm gonna put half of this bunch of dill in there too. Yeah. Wash it first. Right there. I got some Thai peppers too. Do a couple in there. Make it four. A little kick to it. These aren't that spicy anyway, so. Sichuan peppercorns here. And some starriness that we're gonna throw inside as well. And I have this thing right here that keeps it all together so it doesn't fall out and get everywhere. Just about a uh, half a tablespoon. Star anises. Star anise. And four star anises. I guess six. There we go. So close tight. Instead of using the stove top, we're going to put in a slow cooker. After we after we boil it up, the bones back to a boil, like that, we're gonna transfer it over to a slow cooker. But before that, we're gonna put all of these ingredients in first, so it should fit right. Maybe I use too much. <laughs> we might not need all of it. There, the dill's gonna stay. Fennel, garlic, put the ginger in half, put in there, Thai pepper, Half a fennel, okay. That. Let's do half an onion. And there's that to here. Now transfer our meat over to here. You can also put your back fat in. Like that. Get the pig feet in. Get out pig feet soon. When we throw it in the slow cooker, it needs to be hot enough so it'll keep on boiling. There we go. Get all that shit in there. <laughs> Ooh, another three feet. Yeah. Don't miss out this. This is this pig skin. I'm gonna cut this up. That should be good. Now I'm gonna take this water and put it over here. Now we're gonna slow cook it for 12 hours. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Plug it in. Some more water could fit. Close it. On power, no cook. So we're gonna do high for four hours and we're gonna check it at two hours. Start. There you go. That's simple. Okay. We're at, uh, got this going for 21 hours. I'm gonna use this blender here so I can chop up all the fat that I have in there. So it'll be more clean. See it? Yeah, boy. There you go. It's creamy now. Rich, creamy consistency. Yeah, this is gonna be very good. So I'm gonna let this go for another hour. And we're gonna be good. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. See you guys then. All right, dude, it's done, man. How's that look? It's been about 24 hours. And look how creamy it is, though. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna strain this shit now. 
Strain out all the bones and all that stuff. Get all that out. I use this. Now we pour it in here. Oh yeah. Take this, we smash it down like so. Let's look it through. Push it all down. over to the stove. Ooh wee, I'm in love with the cocoa. All right, now we're gonna do our soft boiled eggs. So what we're gonna do, put a half an inch of water and bring it to a boil. I'm gonna do four eggs. There it goes boiling, so we're gonna put our egg in. Careful you don't break it when you put it in. And we'll boil for six and a half minutes. There it goes. Turn this off and put it under cold, 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 very cold water. This is under very cold water. Very cold. I, I, our house don't have ice, but I would use, I would use ice, ice water back. Uh, take out the heat away so the inside won't cook. Let's deshell these. Beautiful soft boiled eggs. And we're gonna marinate it in some soy sauce and vinegar. Pour a cup of soy sauce. The Japanese, they usually use marin. I don't have marin. Marin is like a rice wine, like sake. So I'm gonna use saucin wine. So a quarter cup of that too. And a cup of water. One part soy sauce, one part saucin wine, and four part water. There it goes. Just wanna cover it like that. Maybe we put a little bit more soy sauce. A little more saucin wine. More water so it gets covered. There you go. Now we're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for two hours. We're going to make our tare, that is our soup base for our tonkatsu ramen. Yeah! Yeah, boy! So, in a saucepan or a fry pan or a pan pan or whatever you can can, we're gonna put in a hefty amount of Oil, so I'm using coconut oil. I always use coconut oil. So that's about four tablespoons there. There's coconut oil. It's never too much coconut oil. To our coconut oil, we're gonna put in dried shrimp. Put a dried shrimp like that. And also, these little dried shrimps. We want that to cook. All that, all that, uh, that fishy, Shrimpy taste into the oil. I love my wok. I wok it out with my wok. I crip wok Cause I'm a crip cut. But I'm a blood cut. So I'm breezy bee. I'm breezy bee. I'm a grip grip. I'm a buff buff. I'm a grip grip. Ripping never tripping. Tripping never tripping. Tripping till I'm dipping. Tripping with my beads. I'm gonna get all that umami flavor out of this thing. I have that umami. That umami. Oh my man, you don't want to burn it, so I think that should be good. Now we're gonna put a quarter cup of soy sauce. Bring it down to uh, medium and low. And we're gonna put a quarter cup of chowsing wine. I don't think that's enough. I'm gonna put it with more soy sauce and chowsing wine. There we go. Same amount of both. Soy sauce and chowsing wine. This is a little bit of Taiwan cooking spirits. So what we now wanna do is cook out all the alcohol that we put in here. And then we'll be done. Ooh, the alcohol. Oh well, my gosh. Do you smell the alcohol is burned out when the, the smell of the alcohol is gone? Maybe make it a little sweeter. Put some sugar in. But instead of sugar, I use a square erythritol. We're gonna drain it, put it in there like that. All that stuff. Put it inside to whatever you're ready. Put it in the refrigerator if you want. That's our tare. The rest will be thrown away. If you want it more sweet, you can put more sugar in it or any type of sweetener you like to use. I only like to use erythritol and stevia because they're natural and monk fruit as well. Much better. So we'll wrap this. So instead of a uh, chashu pork, I have this marinade already in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna cook this up, and this is gonna go into our ramen as well. And in here, I'm boiling up packets of shirataki noodles. Instead of ramen, we're gonna use shirataki noodles. 
boil it for two minutes. Get our ingredients ready. Two green onion. Chop it up. You chop this up as fine as you can. There you go. Put it to the side. Uh, Share the talking noodles and strain them. Cool down a little bit. We're gonna fill it for pork chop over. Bamboo shoots. I'm gonna uh, boil them up a little bit. Boom, bamboo shoots, you just pour it in right there. And then it warm up. Boil them up a little bit. Now we can start um, creating our bowl. We're gonna go with my shirataku noodles. My tofu shirataku noodles, actually. What we wanna do is, like this. And, too fast. Oh, dude. oh no! Let's try just cutting it, how about that? Yeah, that, that might be better. Real fast, there you go. Put it into our bowl here. We're gonna strain our bamboo shoot. Put these here. Mm, like that. Put here. It's looking interesting. Our pork chop should be done. Mm. We just cut like that. Right in the center there. Nori here, nori sheets here. Our tari that we made earlier from the dry shrimp. A little bit of this, pour it on here. Here is our Amazing tonkatsu broth here. Ooh, get in pour it in here. Like that. Mm, let's see how this tastes. I hope th I hope this is good. That's fucking amazing. Oh shit. Taste it first. Let's taste the powder first. That is that's fucking really good. Oh my gosh, that's fucking really good. Uh, let's just pour it in. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm, no issues. It's like imitation seaweed. This tofu shirataki noodles, it tastes pretty much like, like uh, ramen noodles. Mm. That broth is amazing. The tonkutsu broth, put it in the, with the tari, amazing. This is my favorite recipe. Let's try that egg. Okay. This is so good, man. I urge you guys to try this recipe out. Can't go wrong. This is packed full of flavor. I should become a ramen master now. <laughs> this is the bomb. My pork that I marinated, packed full of flavors. I marinated it with five spice powder, salt pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, soy sauce, a little bit of fish sauce, sugar, when it says sugar, I use stevia, and um, sesame seed oil. Check out. My soft boiled eggs. Broth is the number one. It's all that fat and cartilage that's broken down by cooking for a long time. It all cooks down and fused together, become one. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm Khan. This is Khan eats, and I'm eating. Um, try this recipe out. I guarantee you'll like it. Um, subscribe, please subscribe. Please uh, comment down below if you want like or dislike. Share this video. And uh, if you really enjoyed my cooking, uh, let me know. I love to cook now. Oh yeah, <coughs> I'm having a special giveaway. So when I reach 100 subscribers, I will give uh, two $20 gift cards. Visa or Master, whatever you like. And I'll send it to you guys. Just oh, like, share, subscribe, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, I'll give you guys two gift cards. Where's my bowl, boy? Thank you very much, and have a good one.